Okay, in this tutorial, I'll show you how I take advantage of the Python console and the info window in order to kind of use it as a stepping stone to get into more Python programming because Python gives you a lot of power over the control of your objects and a lot of my future intermediate and advanced tutorials that will be on my sci-fi animator website are based on Python, math, programming, things of that nature. All right, so in here the info window is really cool. It's got this little blue eye you can see down here. So just like from the previous lesson where we were changing colors, let's just go change the color of this blue object. Then I'll come over here and I'll just left click and make it this yellow color like this. All right. And when I do, two things happen. One, you see it change in here to these new values right in here, 0 0.638, 0 0.59 like this. And then if I move the mouse out of the window, you can see it's actually changed it down here as well. And so what this is, this is the actual Python command. You, you'll know when you're within Blender Render, these commands start with BPY. If, if you're within the game engine, they start with BGE. So they're two different programming languages. But this helps you learn the programming language at the same time. Because this is essentially, you can right click on this on these lines like this. All right, you, not left click, right click on this. And then you can control C and then move up into this window and control V and then place that in there. And then I'll just come back over in here and I'll change this to a zero for the green value of it. And then I'll just hit return. And then I've suddenly just changed the color of the object using a piece of Python code. All right, bp dot, bpy dot context dot object dot active material. That's the key and dot diffuse color. So it gives me a way to change the colors in here as well. All right. So you could, you know, now interactively use the Python console like we've been doing to change the hex and the integer values. And or you could even say use the maybe you have a particular value in mind that you know is something that you like. Maybe it, it is this color, so maybe you might define a special color and you might just say special red and you just give it a value. 0 0.638271, 638271. And then when I print with parentheses special red like this, it holds it in memory like that. Alright? So that so as your as long as your window is open, you, this program's open, it's gonna retain this value. However, if you open up a new version and then try and reload your same scene, this is actually going to go away. So you can't use it in that sense. Of course, what you could do is you could then take advantage of the text editor. And instead of the info window down here, you get the text editor like this. And you could actually use this to type. You could press new and you could put in your information up in here that you want to store, kind of just like a regular word processor. And then when you have it, then you can save as and you keep it here. So then you could always open up another one at another time open with open text block all right and then this will give you your list of items that you have here so that they really help all these little tools they have built in are super powerful a lot of fun in this info window in particular is just really great because it pretty much shows you what you're doing the whole way along even if you like say move an object like this you can see it shows you the command it's just transform dot translate and it shows you the value in X, it translated in X 3.01906 and then all these other parameters that are associated with this particular command. So Python is great. So using, you can again copy these and put it into here. Control C and then Control V and there's that command right like there and then it moves it again that same amount. So then once if you start working with this this way, what this allows you to do is it allows you to just get very comfortable with seeing what commands are generated by interactively working within the window. And then eventually when you get into Python code, then you add all the conditional statements and your variables and your dictionary values and the more important programming logic. Uh, but then you'll have all this kind of already under your belt. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.